Alright, so here is the new golf cart. It does not run. I'm going to get ready to swap out the tires. You can kind of see the tires are flat. I just got a set of these. So, I'm going to make it look a little better. The starter generators have an issue, so I'm going to have to pull that off here in a little bit and go from there. But you can kind of see. Nothing. Okay, so I've already taken this apart, and I'm not going to do it again, but just so you guys can, in case you ever have trouble with this G1 uh, Yamaha motor, pulling it apart. So I use this Pittsburgh pole, bolt pull-type wheel puller set, and if you look in here, after you remove, uh, after you remove this piece, there's actually two bolt holes here. I don't think they do it. I mean, I, I think the, the purpose of them mostly is just to help pull it off. Um, and so you just use one of those, like I said, with that wheel puller set there, and it just slides up to the top. I did have to go to Ace and purchase a couple bolts for it. Um, I think they were 8 millimeter, and they were the longest ones that they had. Um, so they are metric, just so I could reach from here to here, and then get, of course, the, the puller itself in there. But that's how I was able to get this apart um, when I did it. So hope it helps you. Okay, so a little search on YouTube for videos on this. I never did find one, so I thought I'd go ahead and post one here. So all I'm simply doing is just pressing this out. You can kind of see down here what's happening. And I just got a double set there, so I make sure that this is staying loose. And I'm just going to simply press it the rest of the way out. And you can see it has just easily coming right out of there. And we're free. So that's what it looks like once the thing's out. Mine was missing all the little plastic pieces in between all the ball bearings. So when it came out, that piece fell out. You can see it's a Koyo, I believe that number is 6306. So. I just have to press that out and be done. Okay, so to get this outside of the bearing press down, I'm using a two inch three quarter socket and making sure that it's not going around the edge there. And I'm just simply pushing down, and you can kind of see that it is really just sliding right out. <clears throat> okay, for those of you trying to put this thing back together, I just simply am going to press it back in rather than using that other tool. It seems to be working okay so far. Just have to make sure that you're just on the edges of these points here. You can see it slowly going in as I slowly went ahead and I'm pressing it down in there. And I did put a bolt up on top just to try to make sure they had the more surface area. So I'm going to leave just a little bit of a edge there, about right there, so I say. I know there's supposed to be a little bit of a gap on that side. Okay, so I just got the two halves back together. I pressed the first half on, and then I used a cheapo version of this um, that I found on Amazon. And you can kind of see that that Yamabon 4 stuff that I used is actually creating a line down the middle. But I just kind of want to go through this part here, so you can kind of see what I did. and. I only had a, a nut like this on my actual golf cart, so I was able to just to pick that piece there, stick it on, and then this I thought gave me plenty of threads, so I didn't have to slide it down in there, because um, as you can see, it does go all the way down and it catches every thread on there, so I felt pretty good about that. Then of course you just 
screw on this piece here. As far back as it'll go until it catches. And the last part is you just line up that hole there with that knot there. It comes on. And you just screw that on here, that nut. And you keep pushing until, like I said, it seals up there. And you can see the distance between those two is, I'd say, pretty good. I'm not too concerned about it. So hopefully that helps you out.